Oh, big, big, let's go. We are out at Lazy Marina today. Um, I didn't know where to launch. We were supposed to go to Big Break and then that fell through. And then I was gonna launch out of Holland. Then I woke up kind of late. And then, I don't know, a lot of excuses, but we ended up here in Lazy M. I spanned one of those little like wheel things because I didn't know where to go, where to launch out of, and it landed on Lazy M. So that's where we're going today. That's where we're launching out. I like briefly, very briefly looked at the tide table. I didn't really need to because looking at this, it looks really low. It might be actually like a negative tide today. Sketchy doing this because it's super, super slippery down here. Super duper low tide. I've actually never been here and the tide's been this low. <laughs> Dude, it's low. Super duper low. Super low, super dirty. I think we should have launched somewhere else, but the wheel, the wheel of fortune, you know, you have to do whatever the wheel says. It'll lead you to some fish. Didn't really expect to be slowing it down super early. Man, it has been so slow this first hour. Oh man, my hand was weird on the reel, man, and I clicked my freaking release. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm just in a really weird position because I'm sitting down. I shouldn't be sitting down, dude. So I went like this, I went to set the hook, and I clicked this. I clicked the release by accident. It sucks, dude. You can always come back to the same spot you fish a little bit later, let the fish reset. Hit that reset button. Big possibility it'll bite again. Ah, oh, that sucks. It's gonna be the one I think about all day now. My brain is just saying go back right now and try and get it again. But I know that fish is not gonna eat again. I had it pinned. What? My arm? Oh my god, dude. I didn't even feel that fish hit. What am I doing? I'm trolling now. I'm, I'm trolling. What am I doing? I wasn't even paying attention. It's based out. Uh, whack. So what I've been doing is trying to fish. If I'm fishing like a lower tide like this, I always look for stuff that fish relate to like logs on the bank, toolies, anything like that. Anything that fish can relate to on high tide. Um, whenever you see like toolies like this, nine times out of ten there's probably a fish nearby because fish don't really move too far from where they they chill. So since there's toolies here, I'm pretty sure there's a fish that chills in here and it's probably chilling pretty close. Recent intel says that the only thing people are catching on are, well there are people catching on jerk baits. Most of the bigger fish are caught on senkos or worms. Might have to switch it up because not looking too good. It's been about two hours now since we started fishing and nothing's going on. Try top water, 
throwing this jig. Actually, well, I got hit twice, dropped them both. That's my fault. So I guess a jig could be could be doing some work right now. I'm just a noob. There's one finally, and I like, I almost did the same thing I did last time, dude. I almost lost it because I clicked the thing. I I don't like fishing sitting down at all. I feel like that only happens to me when I'm fishing sitting down. Okay, we're on one, finally. Um, I almost lost that one. Cause uh, dude, I don't know why. But when, I, when I'm sitting down, I just, I'm in a weird angle. I almost lost that one again. Cause I went to go set the hook. I don't know why my finger just instinctively goes towards this, but it goes here and then I clicked it by accident when I went to set the hook. That was almost a disaster. Almost ruined the day again, but we're on one. All that matters, we're on the board, boys. We're on the board, boyos. Jerk bait out here, single handedly saving the day. Now, question is though, am I the only fish looking to chase, or did I just get lucky casting on that guy? Give it another 15 minutes with his jerk bait, see if that's what they want. If it's not, going back to the jig. Seeing a lot more movement on top of the water. Maybe it was just a time of day thing. And just, oh, big hit right there, huge hit. Okay, definitely something going on now. Getting hit, getting bit. This is a good sign. I think we're on the incoming tide now. Maybe that's what's firing them up. Oh, big, 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 big hit. Please, please stay up. What? Oh man. That sucks, dude. Oh man, that sucks. That was huge. Oh man. What am I doing, dude? Today is not. Oh, I'm just not fishing very well today, not gonna lie. Jeez. Dude, I had this drag locked down too, man. It's like pretty much almost maxed out. So whatever that was. I thought my drag was loose. It wasn't loose. All right, we gotta fish through the tilt. Gotta keep fishing. Can't dwell on the past. That's fishing, right? That fish felt huge though. It had me pinned. And my drag was almost set to max. So, I don't know. It's a huge fish. I'm at the point where I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs>
on. Oh, spin it, dude. Oh, dude. The wire bent on this freaking thing. Dude. Dude, the wire bent on this freaking buzz bait. So heartbreaking, dude. Is that what happened last time too? I don't know why we didn't have any nap problems in the summertime. But here in the fall time, so many gnats. It's usually summertime where I see a bunch of gnats. Decent, it's okay. It's, a, it's a okay one. No, it's not. It's a baby. Got smaller. But <laughs> the more I reel it in, the smaller I got. Jeez, dude. That was a long, long time. A long, long time. Finally on another one. Later dude. Thanks for playing. Appreciate ya. I definitely do appreciate ya. Oh my god. Finally. <laughs> Just gotta fish through the tilt, huh? I know this like flat has a bunch of like fish here. See them jumping everywhere. And we know there's some big ones because I lost, lost a couple big ones here. <laughs> I guess I do want this. Dang, I should have been just throwing this the whole time. It feels good. Or did I get wrapped up? It just got wrapped up. <laughs> oh, it feels good, totally, dude. Man, that is a giant of giants. Oh, well, there you go. Three on the board. That was a giant fish, huh? It felt super big because it was all tied up in some grass, but... Oh, man. I got excited for a second. This bigger fish earlier, I don't even know they're bigger fish. Maybe they're small fish just wrapping me up in the grass. King of the micros, eh? Hey, at least we're catching him now. Actually, not really a micro. He's kind of like a little bit bigger. Hey man, I'm just, I'm happy to get bit. Thank you. Whoa, dude, that guy was hot. Happy to get bit, that's all that matters, you know? having a really bad day earlier now we're getting bit can't even complain yeah all right oh all right buddy 
chill out. A little bit better. Getting a lot better. A little bit better. Ooh, chill, buddy. Chill, brother. I'm trying to help you out, bud. Getting better. Getting a lot better. Like, I think that's a keeper. Pretty good. <sighs> Man. Okay, so maybe it was just a time of day thing. That's why we weren't getting hit too much earlier. But now they're definitely here. They're definitely alive. And they're loving this Whopper Plopper. It's also getting hotter, so maybe that's why too. They're trying to... Oh! Dude, that was a crazy hit. Good one. Oh, good one. Oh, good one. Oh no, my other rod. Barely hooked. Flip. Oh, good one, dude. Let's go. Fish through the tilt. Let's go, dude. Earlier was tilted. Now the day is good. Let's go, dude. Look how fat that is. Sheesh. Chunk, dude. Thank you. Whew. So much better. My day went from zero to 100. Now I'm pretty happy. Pretty, pretty happy. Jeez, man. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That wasn't a long fish. It's chunky. Let's just get back in it before we lose whatever steam we have going. This is our bite window. I'm happy to, I'm happy to get bit. But we can't give up this bite window while we have it. I need to move this other rod. Dude, I almost lost that fish because of this. Jeez. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, little baby just smacking it, dude. A bird. Oh, the look away. I don't have my I kept on, but looked away because something bounced behind me. Huh. One more for the books. One more for the bucks. Thank you. Bye. Today was a perfect example of how you should just fish through the tilt. Sometimes that bite finds you. Even after three fishing, three hours of fishing with nothing happening, that bite can find you at any moment. Just keep fishing through the tilt and you'll hook up. Just to recap, I started the day off throwing that jerk bait because that's what's been killing this whole early fall transition. Did not work out as well as I thought it would be. Um, slowly switched over to a jig. I thought slowing it down would change some things. Instantly linked up on my first set of toolies and I dropped it immediately because I hit that release button by accident. That's on me, that was my fault. Kept grinding, 
that I went back to the jerk bait, linked up with another one, got it on the boat. Started seeing more splashing on top of the water, a lot more blow ups. So I started throwing the buzz bait because I just assumed that it was bass blowing up on bait fish. Uh, instantly locked up on a really good one, dug me down into the hydrilla. I tried to pull it up and all I got was hydrilla. <laughs> And I locked on my drag too, so it was, it was crazy, dude. I was fully locked up. It was still pulling, and yeah, I don't know. Just ended up dropping it. Kept throwing that buzz bait because I thought that's what the fish wanted. Instantly locked up another one, dropped that one. This time when I brought it up, it was the wire on the buzz bait was bent. Can't show it to you guys because I threw it away. I'm not sure if it's because the Guggen wire is like super malleable or if that's just how all buzz baits are, but I'm. Probably never going to buy another Guggen buzz bait ever again. At that point, I was super tilted. I just almost didn't want to fish anymore. I wanted to go home. But I switched out that Guggen buzz bait for a Whopper Plopper. Pretty much the same style bait. A little noisy bait on the top of the water. Something splashy, something noisy. And instantly started linking up with a bunch of fish. The Whopper Plopper, Whopper Plopper saved my fishing day for sure. I uh, picked up a few small ones and then that one really good, it was like the size of a two pounder, but the weight of a four, super thick, super thick. I think uh, now is the time to be catching those double digits if you guys are trying to get out there. So like I said earlier in the outro, you just have to keep fishing. Sometimes you're just not in that bite window. Things can be shut down one second and the next second turn on. I'm glad I fished through the tilt. It's a pretty good day. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below. I'll get back to you guys, and hope you guys have a good one. Peace.